Thanks, sure. Audio is okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ayan, ayan. Okay na tayo. Alright, so we're gonna be starting in a bit. Welcome to another episode of Rising Stars. Napanood yung labit kagabi. It was by Miss Rattlesnake Gaming. It was a fight. This, ano, this evening. And this evening, we're gonna be watching. Medyo wala si Rattlesnake ngayon. I wanna congratulate Rattlesnake. She's doing her first gig as a caster this evening. And... That's why she's busy. She won't be able to join us today. So, ako lang muna, mo, th- muna po this evening. But we'll do our best to make this the best fight for you guys. Welcome to Rising Stars. We already have bands. Yet, ang laban po natin ngayon is going to be Alpha Esports versus Caballero Arise. So, right? shout out sa mga fans nila na naghintay. Medyo na late tayo ng konti. 9, 30, 9 o'clock should be the match. We moved it at 9.30 kasi may live pa ako na isa. But now we are ready. We already have the bands right now. So I'm gonna be starting the match right away. So, alam. Hindi lang kita ang bands. Basta na bands si Ziggs. The bands si Akali. There were two. Sorry if hindi ko napansin sino ang bands. But, yeah. Um, let me just adjust this really quick. Yung pangalan sa taas, are not updated so let me sh- uh that. alpha because blue side is alpha esports and on the red naman is going to be our friends from caballero all right caballero uh, the score should be zero zero that's very updated muna ang picks really quick uh while i adjust things on my end I want to make sure everything is smooth for the rest of the day. There we go. And a little bit. It's just a bit more than a pick. Breakdown of picks. Really quick. Kaisa is going to be the ADR. First pick on the red side. They want to get the Kaisa. Kaisa is very strong premier uh, ADCs uh, in town. Right, Kaisa is going to pick. Red team is going to be responding with a Brom and Camille. All right, they want to trap this Kaisa with Camille. You can always do that. Camille has a point and click control, so that's very important to trap the Kaisa. So that's one thing, one way you can stop the Kaisa. Katarina though is going to pick right. Going to get picked right here. <coughs> Medyo wala sa meta si Katarina, but if you have Camille and stuns up, um, catch someone, and Katarina is going to be there to deal the damage. No. Boy, those HP bars are gonna go down fast. So you have to be careful still. Kait wala sa meta si Katarina. So Fiora is gonna be the pick right here with the Gragas. I like this. Um, Alistar is gonna be their support. And then their jungler is going to be. They're hovering over the Vi. Vi. So that can be something. They're gonna go. No. Um, they're gonna go for the Olaf this time. Alright. Gusto nila pasukin ang um, um, red team dito. Alright. Caballeros is gonna go for Brom. Camille, Katarina, Wukong, and ooh, Tristana. Possibly, na, na buff si Tristana. Still not the premier type of champion right now, si Tristana. But Shaya, by pi- of Paimon. Right? So Shaya is gonna be the ADR. Medyo nawawala sa meta ngayon si Shaya. Uh, I like the Kaisa more as an ADR. So I'm, in f- I'm gonna be favoring Alpha Esports here in this fight. Pero kita nyo naman po, hopefully. Chat, let me know. Sino ang gusto niyo dito? Sino, who are you gonna be rooting for for the picks right now sa fight natin? But definitely, ang ganda ng mga preps natin ngayon. Let me just adjust this also. Ayan, nasa load screen na tayo. And there it is. Blue side. And red side is right here. And so... Uh, this align, I don't know what happened right here. So, nakalign to dapat eh. Alright, there we go. Anyways, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Rift. Welcome Wild to game Rift. number one. Uh, game between Alpha and Sports versus Caballero. What a fight we are gonna be watching. Caballeros. Caballero or Rice. So, let me turn off the fog of war right here. Let's see if there are any early game shenanigans from both sides but I think it's gonna be a pretty safe early game for both sides walang labanan and I think we can go through the run through the rundown of both sides at this point we are gonna be uh, we're looking at Sid and Alistar support for the blue side Alpha uh, Heart Heartless yeah, Heartless is gonna be the ADR Kaisa giving a leash here for their Olaf who's gonna be the jungler by AD 
Pro Gin C2 Gin C2 Alam ko Pang inom yan Gin C2 Leo on the Fiora uh, Baron Laner And we have B Big Bird Big Bird On the Gragas Baron Laner Who's gonna go for the mid Right here right. Veldora is on the Katarina mid uh, Gem Gwyn was on the, on the Shaya ADR Kuring Meow On the Camille Baron Laner we have Paimon and so mga naglalaro ng na, ano nga ba yun si Paimon Paimon naglaro nga ba yun si Paimon yung emergency food si Paimon diba uh, chat let me know anong game yun si Paimon ulit si Katana yun si Katana yun <laughs> Belor is gonna be the Wukong jungler right here 0-0 zero zero on the board pretty even but it's the timing for the Rift Scuttlers right now let's see the setups for the Rift Scuttlers by the way to be here Mag spawn na po, so he's not gonna take the Rift Scuttler on time, but okay lang man. He should go for the Rift Scuttler next, and there it is. Rift Scuttler is next in the menu. Okay. On the bottom side. Let me just make sure na ang audio, game audio natin, hindi naman gaano kalakasan. Blue team first blood. Wait, Red wala, team champion. Sorry about that, man. Um, it is going to be a meal. Goes down, um, right here at the top. Uh, first blood get taken by Leo right here. Sorry about that. 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 Anyways, that was first blood. They're gonna set up for another kill right here. Camille is has to back away. Ultimate by Leo. The grand challenge is gonna be casted right here, but that's gonna burn down. Camille's gonna be okay. But the turret one up there. Again. Both going through the Olaf. The Olaf is taking damage from the field right now. Olaf is get out of town. Can you dish us in a good poke right there? Olaf is gonna be okay, and Fiora will go back home. Right. So what was that I was adjusting earlier in? Ah, pala, yung camera. Right, so I was just adjusting this earlier. Anyway, we're back. We're back. Uh, first blood vault, um, we have almost a 1k gold lead onto the blue side. So that's going to be very good for them. Headed towards the, oh, headed towards the first pick of the game. Ganda ng wars dito na red team. They know what's happening on the Olaf and etc. So they know when to go aggressive or not. And there it is. Paimon is going to be protecting the Shire right here at the bottom. Camille is looking forward at the top. The Krimiao uh, doesn't have that much in the pocket right now. So she will just take the fruit. Mid poke right here. Things are getting spicy. But up, get up, get up, get up. Right, Olaf is in the area. Right, you be careful. They don't have a ward right now, so they don't know about this. Olaf, they're gonna go in, and Alistar goes in for the head spot right right there. Olaf is in also. Ultimate by Jenkins, and it's gonna save him right here. And there it is. Sid is already very low. Brom is gonna be very low too. So Brom is gonna go down. First good finish right there. By this Olaf with the Ragnarok going unstoppable. Jin C2 takes him down, and that's 2 to 0 on the board. Wukong will join the fray, but he is gonna be late, and they will not get anything at this point of the game. 2 to 0 on the board, 3 minutes 56 seconds in. First Drake of the game is on the right, good timing of the resets on the blue side. Right. Pinks at the top, Camille will just start the reset right now. This is going to be nope. This is gonna be a 4v4 match for the wind Drake right here. Wind Drake kind of um kind of important right now. Red team is gonna go for the defense right here. Dragon is just gonna go for the pokes in the mid. I like the position right here. Hit from the set of the two right there. He's gonna come on to the Alistar. Alistar will let you and he's gonna be down for this fight. And they're not done yet. Red team is gonna look for oh, oh, Wukong's ultimate. It's gonna whip and Katarina goes in. Katarina is in trouble. And that is bad for the Katarina. Kala niya magkoconnect si Wukong and then tumasok siya. But at the top, revenge kill right there by the field. That's gonna be on point. Granite already has a key down. Dragas will send in barrel. And there is a Q by Paimon. Will connect. Very low already, and it is Wukong who gets the Drake right there. Olaf is already very low, takes damage, and there it is. Olaf is gonna die. Alistar is gonna be helping right here. So it is gonna be Wukong for the trade right here. But they're not done yet. Draga sends out ultimate right there. Bomb very low. The lap is flash away, but still goes down. Come up, Shaya. Very low, still burning now. Who's on the ultimate? But here it is. Katarini should help, and he should have the kill right here. This is two up, two. Pop, pop, pop. Headbutt with Katarina, and there it is. Another kill right there. They get the Kaisa, and they even get the Alistar. 5 to 5, even on the board. Good job by 
Caballero getting that fight, evening things out on the board, and they take the first Drake of the game, the win Drake, as their reward, 5 minutes and 30 minutes. I can't wait. Alright. Nice up Snatai, this up, it's not really happening right now. There it is, initiation, and on the drag, that's drag is taking a lot of damage, but it is wrong under the third bomb, you need to get out of town, and Olaf is here for the kill, and that is gonna connect. Olaf will kill the Brom. Brom goes down. Katarina can be here. Sends out the Lotus. But everyone was prepared for that. Oh oh. Katarina gets headbutted into a bad position. Katarina, you need to get out of town. He is going to be chased by the Olaf. Olaf gets the kill. Olaf gets rooted this time though. Olaf already very low, but will be able to sustain. He gets the Shaya before going down. Wukong is for gets a revenge kill right there. But Wukong is already very low. GA gets popped. But this is 2 for 1 trade already. Sends out the ultimate. This Gaga. But it's not going to be on point And Wukong is going to survive That's going to end with a 2 for 1 exchange right there And that is a win by the blue side Alpha And they will not be getting the Rift Herald just, at, just yet But big win by them Okay, hindi mo na ako mag-ano ngayon ha Hindi ako mag Sisigaw muna Kasi ako lang mag-isa ngayon So Wala tayong sigaw na casting. Ang ganda magsigaw, magsigaw na casting. Oh, there it is. Well, probably very low. He's going to take it down. So, by the bull of taking the Wukong, it is going to be blue red team. Oh, it's going to be stolen by the blue team. Alpha gets the, gets the Rift Herald. Takes three champions down. Caballero gets nothing. That was bad for them. Rift Herald is going to be summoned right here. So, they were planning to get the first of the game. And I think they have a very strong pace right now. Rift Herald goes for the headbutt and boom! It turns down. The map on the red side is wide open for Alpha Esports. They are now leading this early game. They are up to a gold lead. They want to push the bottom lane. They have a very good position right here. They're going to go for a push setup right here. And there it is. Brom just deleted right in front of us. Well, with Brom down, I think it's another third down. And there it is. Alpha Esports. That's what I'm talking about. Early game domination by Alpha Esports. And they're not done yet. They're going for jungle skills. And they're going for Rift Scott for takes. And this is adding up to their lead. And they're now looking at a full three goals. Yun, yun, yun. At the top of the very least, they're going to have a strong point for a trade right here. And they're going to get the top third. There's no contest. And that is going to be one third down. Third down. Two for one in the third count. And the lead naman po. Ang ice is for the top third count. Check out itemization right here. Okay. It's Katarina already has the orb forming a... We call this the end this tournament right now. But on top of the lead on the scoreboard right now is this Olaf. Olaf is getting scarier and scarier right here, man. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. And Olaf is gonna go for the chase right here. And there it is. Shia is in trouble. Send out the ultimate. Will flash forward. But he is gonna be chased by the old man right there. Old man Olaf, I told you, he's scary. And he's gonna devour you. And he just did. And he said it's going to be chicken for dinner tonight. You keep on nothing to Shia Patai. And at the top, solo kill again on the Camille. This Fiora is very very painful right now good job small wins off the map and they are going to be taking the drake as their reward nine minutes in alpha esports doing this doing it in this game they are now up 8k slowly but surely the snowball is getting bigger onto the blue side this is bad Caballero. this is nine minutes in the game this will be the time that we will have to try to look for a way to get back into the game. Sense of urgency, because if it doesn't happen, they're gonna be choking out. Now, they're gonna be choking out slowly. They will lose this game number one, and this best one to be fight. Baron is gonna be spawning next 13 seconds, but I don't think both, both teams are ready at this point. To take that right now. Ganun position eh. I think Blue Side can... Blue Side can try to... Uh, no. Blue Side can try to bait out the Red Team. Force a fight on the Red Team with the Baron. With the Baron box. Bait 
There it is. Good check right there by Paimon. They know uh, the Baron is already being taken. They can't do anything right now. So there's not going to be an answer. And it's going to be for free. This Baron goes into the hands of Alpha Esports. Alistar is right here testing things out. But Alistar needs to get out. There's only one champion right there. At the bottom, another 1v1 fighter here. And if it's pure winning against this Camille, this is big. Um, Katarina will try to help, but Fiora is prepared for that try one. Again. So, try again. again. Alright, so it's gonna be okay. And Katarina gets out with the blue buff. Great, one. Let's see what the setup is gonna be for Alpha Esports at this point. Remember, they have the Baron buff. Let's see what kind of damage they can do with that later. Yes, it's gonna be a 4 for 1 push right here right four for one bomb is gonna be seen by sid but sid will not engage with very nice that's that the contact the battle right here by the dragons hitting two champions two champions winter is taking a pounding and that is a goner so that's winter down they're gonna switch over to the top i think they're gonna fight right here but red team will just steal away and they're gonna be okay they're gonna be focusing you is gonna be focusing on the camille camille will be able to flash forward and she is gonna be okay but the turret is not and that's two turrets down with this baron buff this is starting to pull up the gold lead in the bottom turret on. There it is, Alistar with the uh, with the pulverize and hits three chances right there. But no follow up. Big barrel right there by Big Bird. Do so much damage. Alistar's already very low. Wukong is going to survive with the slash right there. Rika's all the ultimate is going to be on point and he's going to be okay. Uh huh. Everyone's alive so far somehow. Uh, Brom doing a good job for the defense and Blue Team will not be able to push this bottom turret. Good defense by Caballero. Alpha Esports will opt for a reset right here. That's very wise, but they will take the blue buff first before they want to go home. That's choking the enemy. Good decision. Right there. Baron buff still available, but good job by so far by Caballero burning it down. Ooh, Infernal Drake is going to spawn in too. I would recommend they try to push the wave in before they go for this Infernal Drake. That's going to be taking the attention of the red team for a sure ball infernal drake for them but they're not gonna do that they're just gonna reset right here so that's gonna be okay also since they have the lead we're looking at the 12k gold lead that's a lot we're 12 minutes into the game just like I one minute of, uh, 1k gold lead a minute the snowball is real my friends all right infernal drake has Spawn, red team, the they're starting to slowly creep in to try to take a contest for this, but they're, not, they're so far down. It's not worth it at this blue point. So the there it is, dragons to be gifted to the blue side of your Camille is gonna be baited out. Well, it's gonna be okay. Baron's gonna be alive in the next 25 seconds. This is gonna be a fight right here. Red team, they will have to try to contest this because if not, it's gonna be GG, my friends. I think it's gonna be GG. Very likely chance that it's gonna be GG if they don't contest for this and they don't take this. They have to prolong this game. One thing, one way to do that. Oh, this is a new fight. It's gonna be a check right here. This is gonna be 2 5 It's trouble for Blue Team. Right now, it's gonna be Dragas who stands out. Those right here. Alistar with the pulverize. It's gonna be very low, but Dra uh, Dragas is already down, and that's who champion this. I was playing with fire. They play with fire and they're gonna here. We see Shannon's already down. Kaisa right here. It's gonna go in. Oh boy, this Kaisa is doing so much damage right now. And that's gonna be Kaisa going down. It's a 4 for 1 play. Drop down. Pero mabubuhay po dito si Fiora. Fiora doing so much damage herself. But then again, it is numbers advantage on the red side and this is them this is what i'm talking about they want to prolong the game olaf at the top is going to go 1v1 with this camille camille is fighting the olaf that's a good decision right there olaf already very low while the team is pushing the mid that's gold into their economy and somehow they are slowly to uh slowly crawling their way back into this game 9k gold lead onto the blue side this time so that's a big payday for them a breather for caballero for uh for prolonging this game let's see if they can do more of that at this point big throw right there by alpha esports they have to avoid these kinds of throws man i can't wait nothing okay, byron's still gonna be in the menu right here 
Blue team are stalking the area. Again, they want to make sure that they bait out red team out, right? Pero they have to go, be, do a good setup. Maganda yung bait nila kanina, pero wala yung setup eh. They got punished. Two champions went down there. That was a good stream in the goal. You should be seeing that in the chart. Here, they're gonna go aggressively, uh, going for this take on the Baron. Baron is already very low. Mga pasok pa si Wukong. There it is. Wukong is not to be able to kill it. And it is Lucy who went in for the kill. It's gonna be Olaf who gets that. And there it is. The case is on Alistar should have the headbutt any second soon flash in and nope no progress no headbutt Shaya is gonna be okay but three champions on Caballero's side it's down remember blue team has the blue Baron buff now and with only two champions to protect the line I don't think this third is gonna be surviving for very uh, for long there it is Shaya will try her best to make this Next to survive, Alistar to be found tanking in. Next to taking pounding right now, and I think this is it, my friends, ladies and gentlemen. Alpha Esports takes game number one. What a fight! Victory. Let's check out the stats, right? Stats page. Alpha Esports. Let me just update the score. It's gonna be one for zero. Violent effort from our friends here on Caballero side. Nope. And there it is. MVP po na laro natin is going to be who else, man? The Olaf was scary in that game. 16k gold. Right, leader of the pack. Kina natin in chart. There it is. The big dip earlier. That was a from that was from 12k to 9k. So a 3k dip on the charts. But after that. Alpha Esports got serious and they just went in for the win. Good fight, Alpha Esports. We will be prepping for game number two. We'll go for a short break, so please stay tuned. And welcome back everyone 
Ayan, prepared upon game number two. Thank you so much for waiting. Welcome to the Rising Stars. Kung saan? Kaya lang, nakasang background music ko. <laughs> Kung saan? Kami na po. Sa World of Wild Drift, ako po si Leoric and PH and Rattlesnake. We'll, we'll, ako na, kami na po bahala maghanap ng kaskrim ninyo para next week. Right? If you haven't registered yet, punta kayo sa video description. May registration pool dyan kung gusto nyo sumali. Sa Rising Stars, the bands we are gonna be looking at is gonna be Graga, Sakali. Alright, um, that's from Alpha Esports. So, may rin tayong Graga Sakali. And, yun po, um, Rising Stars. If you wanna join Rising Stars, go to the video description and register for next week. Rising Stars po, kami na mag maghanap ng scrim ninyo. So, nakapag-practice na pa kayo. Bigyan pa namin kayo ng parang tournament na setup. If feature namin kayo sa Rising Stars. And then, sino mag, uh, sino mag uh, go, who will go to the finals, team finals natin, is gonna receive extra cash from World of Wild Drift and Yorick PH and Rattlesnake PH. Uh, Rattlesnake Gaming. Diba? So, we have the bands already available. We have Gaga Sakali and Alistar. Alright, Gaga Sakali and Alistar. It's good. Isa na lang ang kulang natin. Gaga Sakali, Alistar. If naririnig nyo sa background ngayon, it is Rattlesnake. Ayan, nagkakastrain po siya. <laughs> Ganda nalapan na rin. Semi-finals and finals kasi yan. <laughs> Dito na din kami. From Alaminos. Alright. Thanks for um sabi ni Jong bangis ng intro loads. Thanks so much. So we have Gragas Akali Ali Brom. So I'm just gonna be asking if they're go already. Gragas Akali Alistar and Brom. Those are bands. So the big guys are not gonna be available in this fight. Big boy Gragas, um, our big cow Alistar, big boy Brom is gonna be out also. Alright, sabi nila eh, okay na. Let's start the match and we are headed to game number two. Sabi ni Apple Pasigan, shout out. Alright, go baby Alpha Esports Pro. Apple Pasigan is the manager of Alpha Esports. Alagang alaga niya ang mga teams dito uh, natin. Alright, so shout out to Apple Pasigan. Thank you so much for participating this evening. Let me just adjust this really quick. Hindi lang na ano. Hindi lang na center natin. So Ziggs is gonna be available. Kanina na ban si Ziggs eh, di ba? So Ziggs is gonna be picked now. I like that. And the response is gonna be Corky and Ezreal. So labanan ng range ito ngayon. Right. Galio is available this time also. So they're gonna go for the Galio. Ooh, Lux. They're hovering over the Lux. Alpha Esports. De, hindi lang ako kunin si Lux. They're gonna go for the Camille. I like that. They have to find a way to catch this Zig and Camille is one good action. Good, uh, what do you call this? And, um, Camille is one good ban right there. I mean, pick right there to catch the Zig. Medyo nandistracted ako. Rattlesnake, wanna join? Yes, I will. And papasok si Rattlesnake. So I'm just gonna be setting up so, tingnan nyo muna, ano. Tingnan nyo muna yung... Uh, please share lang the live puts of the... Ano nyo mo. Right, so, I'm gonna be setting up for Rattlesnake. Uh, let's go to... Fraud Lobby. Wala pa, nag-picks pa lang. Alright, so, tingnan natin, kompleto ng picks. 
Uh, Jigs Gallo, Kaisa Fiore, Lee Sin. I want to see this Gallo. Um, now, nerf kasi si Gallo. So, it's going to be very interesting how powerful Gar Ga Gallo is. So, we'll be seeing that in this fight. Here we go. On the red side, the man, we have Ezra, Corky, Jana, and Jarvan 4 and Camille. They want to make sure, they, they really want to make sure they want to catch this Zig. So, and pa si Jarvan 4, panghuli. And pa si Camille, panghuli. Alright, so Rattlesnake is here. Hi, Rattlesnake. <laughs> So please go ahead muna while I adjust your camera. Wild Rift. But here we go. Oh, I can't hear you. What? Hit it. Jen lang muna daw. Minions have spawned. That's right there. Loading. Get out, continue. Can you try to speak? No, I can't hear you. Is it showing you? Is it really dark? There. Can you, can you speak now? Anyway, sir, then, um, game number two, guys. Again, Alpha Esports already won game number one. They will have to do their best to win this one. Para panalo na for game uh, for ano for, for this fight. Para makapunta sila sa may final. So, Rattlesnake is still fixing her side. <laughs> it's 0 to 0 pa lang tayo. Uh, Rift, Cutlers have spawned. Tiki sa. Alright. Try to reach the Right, oh, at the top, there's gonna be a gang up right here for the Camille. Camille will be able to find an escape right there, and Camille's gonna say, Nope, see you later. And she's gonna be okay. Right. So, no first blood as of the moment. We're two minutes in. Things are happening right now. Um, Ziggs doing well in the mid as of this point. Uh, support ko pala ang Galio natin. It's gonna be by Paimon this time. Um, nasa blue side po Caballero. Red team is gonna go up. Uh, it's gonna be Alpha Esports this time. And so far so good. Alpha Esports has slightly right now. They are invading the jungle on the blue side. So there's something. But here's gonna be fight. Mutation should be coming in. And there it is. Jarvan 4 sends out the ultimate right there. Jarvan 4 will find an exit. Pero ha, bullying po siya ng Lee Sin. Lee Sin is out taking so much damage right now from the Ezreal. So they have to be careful. But at the, at the top, it's going to be the first blood onto the Fiora. And that is first blood taken by Alpha Esports. Unlikely. Hindi natin napansin ang taas. Pero distraction yung pala yun. Para matulala. Fiora and Fiora goes down as the first blood goes to we Leo. Well played right there by Alpha Esports. So three minutes into the game, zero one on the board. Little lead by right, oh one K gold lead, almost one K gold lead here by our friends on Alpha Esports. Again, that was a very good 1v1 kill by Leo. That's a big win for them, definitely at the top. Especially 1v1 for your lane. Nayon. Whenever you win, that's more gold in here for you, and you can start poking out and zoning out your opponent at the top. Ayan, naririnig ko na si ano. Naririnig ko sa nasa Rattlesnake. So we're good to go. Go ahead, Mr. Rattlesnake. Hindi ko pa ni introduce mga players and champions for you, but I think there's gonna be a fight first right here. Uh, Pope on Sid from the Galio. Paimon will go for the taunt but will not connect. Good distance by Sid right here. And here comes Ezra to help her in support. But Infernal Drake right off the bat. First dragon of the game. So this is going to be spicy. All 
Alright, this will be fight here at the bottom. It is going to be Jano who dies first, but it is Galio who goes for the death also. So this is one for one so far. Jake set out the ultimate, but that new time is right already on the blue side. The ultimate by the uh, Jarvan Four is not going to connect, and Jarvan Four gets punished by the Zig, and that is two champions dead on the red side. Small win right here uh, by Caballero, and they're able to even out the fight. Alright, Rift Hell is just spawn right here, but both teams okay. Red Team Raman Po is gonna be out of esports. We have Sid on the support Jada, Big Bird on the ADR, Corky, uh, I mean mid Corky, uh, Leo is gonna be on the Camille Fire Laner. Uh, Rift Hell is gonna be started, so let's just continue that later because I think there's gonna be fight right here. Good Ward here, Ezra sets out the ultimate from downtown. It's not gonna connect, so that's big ultimate miss right there. Jana takes a poke from the Ziggs that takes so much damage right now. There it is, and there's a knockoff onto the Lee Sin. It's gonna be Corky who takes the rip there on Red Team. I think they're gonna go for the fight right here. Jarvis Force sends out the ultimate cataclysm is gonna be connecting right there. Big ultimate oh, big damage right there from the Kaisa Pala. And Fiora is gonna be cut hot right here. But it's Camille who goes down first, even if the Hextex ultimate on Shakarki is probably very low. Uh, oh, that is gonna be the hunter, a killer instinct by the Kaisa to follow for that Corky and Corky's gonna go down triple kill by this Kaisa right here Veldora is doing it for the blue side Caballero is now on top and what a punish right there for the Rift Herald take and they're not done yet they're looking for more champions to kill right here but they will just up for the top turn and that's first turret of the game taken and that will be their big patient All right, Ezreal just tested out the hands of the upstairs. It's gonna be the Gallo right there. Jin C2 takes the brunt of it, but there's are instinct right here. And Ezreal will be kicked in the face, but Ezreal has the okay. Ezreal just say nope. And once again, off screen kill, 1v1 trade. And that's Fiora lying down and is gonna be dead for fifth. They will lose, lose the mid turret right there. All right, Ezreal sends out for the ultimate right there, but Ziggs will respond with a big ultimate right there and steals the dragon in the process. His damage right there, cut the head of that Ziggs, is cleaning up for the blue side. This Caballero champions on that fight and it's gonna be a two for one exchange and another win for Caballero. They even steal the second. Uh oh 
Alright, Ezreal sends out the ultimate onto the Kai'Sa. Kai'Sa is on the ADR, it's already gone onto the red. Esports stealing the Baron. Fire takes a risky Baron and they before champions dead. Onto Esport takes the Baron as their reward. Good point, my friend, Rattlesnake Gaming. But remember, Baron Buff is still available. Let's see what setup Red Team is going to be doing. Alpha Esports is going to go for a full man push at the top. And that turret will not last long, especially with the Baron Buff. They're going to switch focus here onto the mid. Everyone's going to that area of the map. They just want to meet the creep wave right here and start their push. Bottom is already, uh, it's still very far, so Camila's gonna go there. So it's gonna be a four for one push right here. Wave is already here, but Baron buff is already off. Okay, good job by blue side, bur um, burning down the Baron buff. Uh oh. Uh oh, Erto. Lee Sin went in aggressively, but that was a bait, my friend. And Lee Sin will fall down. That's one champion down onto the blue side. Red team will look for more here at this point. They will pressure the turret, and blue team is going to be forced to fight right here. But Jarvan 4 takes an ill advised entry right there. Sends out the ultimate, but will die. No, just GA pop right there. Ziggs will stand on the Sasha to, to, to uh, what do you call this? To confuse everyone. Sends out the ultimate, big damage onto the Corky, and that was on point. Corky will be forced to go back home but not before they destroy the bottom turret and that's another injection of gold into the pockets of alpha esports they're now up 7k 13 minutes in the dragon has spawned Two good points right there, Mr. Rattlesnake Gaming and Lead Punate. And we're looking at a 7k gold lead onto the red side, Alpha Esports. They are now in control of the map. They're going to be taking the Swift Scuttler right here. Um, this is them trying to pressure, trying to force a fight out. They can use the Baron for bait, but they will start for the push right here instead. And there it is. Lee Sin is going to be going in. Uh-oh, that's Corky. It's already very low. Janna goes in to try to protect the Corky, but will sacrifice her life for the save. But she is successful. Janna is already down. This is going to be a 4v3 right here. Camille is going to go for the Hexx ultimatum. It is going to stop right here. Jarvan 4 goes for the ultimate right here. Camille is already very low. Drops that Corky. Very low. Will eat some bombs right there, and he's going to crash down and there it is Galio is going to be traded right here so that's going to be a three for one small win right here by the blue side and they're going to look for one more kill but J GA of the Lee Sin is going to be popped and she he they will not pursue anymore oh uh, win right there by Caballero that, that was big
Alright, good point, good point. So, Baron's still available though. Yes, na delay nila ito. But Red Team is back. They still have the lead right here. 6k gold lead. So, Red Team will try to regain vision here on the blue side. Jungle. Blue buff is already very low. It's gonna be taken by the Lee Sin right there. They don't want that trade uh, uh, taken. So, good job by Lee Sin. But at the bottom, they're gonna be chasing Camille right here. Camille. Hexer's ultimatum is gonna be casted right here. Fiora's already very low. But Fiora will try to run right now. But Kaisa. Ops, man. There's gonna be a fight right here. At the top, Barn is already very low. So, blue side, they will want to help here right there. And there it is. That's gonna be Camille. Oh, napatay ni Fiora. Si Camille Jarvan 4 goes for the kill. But they're already very low. This is gonna be very bad for them. Jana is gonna go down. Corky is gonna be next on the target right here. And Jana goes down. Lee Sin is gonna go for. No, makakalabas po. Dito. Si Ko no. Ayan, makakalabas po dito ang Ezreal. All almost muntik na. Jarvan 4. He'll try to run for his life. He's gonna be uh, chased right here by Jemgrin. Pero, oh, there is Ga yes, Galio is gonna be taken. But bottom turret is gonna go down. Good split push right there by the Camille. Camille is gonna go down though, but the base has been cracked open. What a messy fight. Alright, Dragon is right now being reset by both sides. Good decision right there by Alpha Esports. Not compete, uh, not not risking it all for this Drake. Anyways, just an ocean uh, Drake right there. They have uh, they have the game. Uh, they have the Nexus in mind right now. So they're gonna go for the push here. Red team is well aware of that. They're gonna be going back home. Remember, Red team has the blue buff right. I mean, Baron buff right here. So they can deal a lot of damage. On this third top turret is gonna be focused on top turret is taking a pounding right here, and they think this is gonna be going down right here. But Kaisa goes for the Ezreal kill right here. She is gonna be successful. And it's on Pussy Corky to try to punish everyone. Ops, Galio is gonna be tornadoed on top. There it is, Jana with the ultimate right there. Heals the Corky. Corky is gonna be okay, but only for a bit. The Arky is still gonna go down with that Lee Sin chase, and Lee Sin kicks his ship down but mid naman and dito naman po split push Camille almost kills the Fiora but the cavalry is here so Camille will disengage and will not opt for the push the turrets are very low already one more poke on the top turret and only half HP down on this red side up uh, there it is Cutler is gonna be taken uh, red, blue team knows that they have the numbers advantage right now so they can take at the very least this Elder Drake right here so this is something for them but um, Baron buff is already uh, down Oh, but it's taking them a lot of time right now for this take, so they have to be careful. Um, they're being distracted right now. Jarvan first is going to go in, and it is going to be Z uh, J Ziggs who gets a dragon. Red team will try to go back home, but red team will lose that Jarvan 4. Caballero are back on this game, my friends. Just like that, my how the tables have turned. We're now looking at the tie on the gold lead, 17 to 15 on the board. It's just that the base is not looking too well for the blue side. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Our Kaisa though, very dangerous maneuver right there. But there it is, Zig Sense on ultimate is not gonna hit. It is gonna be Baron right here. Take boy Caballero. This I don't recommend this. This is gonna be very risky, my friends. But they will get it successfully. So that is something for them. They know that Jarvan 4 is down. So there's gonna be less likely a chance for blue red team to steal this, and they're gonna take it for themselves. Ezreal sends out the ultimate, but that's not going to connect. And 3k gold lead onto the blue side. And they have three dragons in their pockets. This, I think, is going to be a very big comeback for Caballero. A very big comeback indeed. 3k gold lead, but 
by meeting him slowly with the Baron Buck and their pockets were marching their way towards the Red Sea. <laughs> Uh oh, Listen. Plot twist completed, and we got ourselves a game. We're headed for game number three between Alpha Esports versus Caballero. What a fight. MVP po natin. It's going to be Veldora on that Kaisa. Kaisa late game always has my respect. And they were able to, Caballero were able to drag this game into the late game. And they will go uh, stretch this to a game number three. And so, ladies and gentlemen. Medyo late na tayo for our second game. Uh, hopefully, our game number two, right, is gonna be, uh, it's, it's okay for them na maghintay ng konte. Alam ko, um, karamihan sa inyo sanay na maghintay. <laughs> so, please wait lang for a bit for, a game, uh, for our game number two. Mamaya, we're still gonna be continuing game number one. We will be prepping for the game, so we'll go for a very short break. We're back. I think we have problems with audio ni Miss Rattlesnake kanina, but I think it's already okay. I'm not re really sure. Pero, yeah, man. Game number three? But, hindi na nag- uh, Mukhang nawala yung mga ano. Mukhang nawala yung players. Sid is offline. Hindi, <laughs> dama. Sabi ni Jewel. Shout out kay Jobert. Labuti na lang. Nakaabot pa ako. Sabi ni Rattlesnake. And sorry, Jay. That was my bad. Biglaan kasi hindi tayo nakapag-test kaagad. Hello. Wait lang daw. Online. Okay, online na sila.
Pa-online na po yung ano, pa-online na po yung ah, uh, rin sila sid wala na si first wala si ni Not sure. Sentia na. Ah, medyo delays lang. We need to be eye on. Ah, online is Zid. I'm gonna be requesting him in. There we go. Start bands. Because at JM introduced that. Please introduce that, no? The uh, Rice Stars to everyone. All right. So here we are. Um, before we go ahead and start with the bands, we're going to wait for you for um just getting the lobby populated. So Rising Stars tournament, but this is just a scrimmage from the teams. We just want to give you guys a tournament feel as a way of supporting the community. Gusto lang namin um itong gawin so that. You're able to get the small time teams, the competitive teams, the tournament feel by having their games casted, giving them the um para ganito yung tournament feel, nagla live tayo. We have their supporters in the comment section right now cheering them up. So if you guys want to also have your team featured into our Rising Stars mini scrimmage tournament, please do uh, no, um register. It's there in the video description. And if you guys have trouble registering, please do message us. So um my they registered but lang feedback guys. Mag message ako kapag um it's gonna be your team's turn for the week. So we're gonna take eight teams a week. Um my bracket tayo, there's gonna be um best of three matches and there will also be as usual on um, the one to one ban so para talagang tournament so that your team can be prepped up for the big picture for the big tournaments for um nationwide and even um worldwide so this will help you guys out a lot the experiences the exposure and teams you and it will um also um help support the community so if you guys want to be part of the rising stars please do register but we will find ako na bahala maghanap ng kalaban ninyo ako na rin mag message sa inyo so um para nag nagkaka free manager na kayo to get scrims for you throughout the week all right thank you so much for shadow snake uh could it do this we are uh, world of wild if is not going to be able to do this without her help laki ng tulong niyan so please register so rising stars uh let's start the bands it's already 8:33 uh, and to be exact oh yeah 10:33 Thank you for liking the page, Matthew. And sabi ni Vimar sa sa si Ebreo and um, go Caballeros arises. And Caballeros winning game number two with a very good comeback. What a fight by them in game number two, dragging this to game number three. Tignan natin ano ang gagawin nila for game number three. So we're gonna be seeing ban on the Ziggs, right? Respect ban, Ms. Rattlesnake. Okay, so first ban, it's gonna be Ziggs. Ziggs, 
sa first game, uh, sa second game, second game yun, di ba? So that was Ziggs taking so much damage for the team, zoning out the champs, delaying them from taking objectives, and even team fights. Ziggs, I think, dealt so much damage for the team, so he will be getting the respect ban for game number three because grabe talaga ng, um, ng help on Ziggs na may, may bibigay for the team, and even sa turret, um, takedowns and threat damages grabe ng Ziggs ang um, grabe yung contribution niya sa team sa laro na yun the next we're not gonna be seeing Gragas this time the Wombo Combo Breaker so that will be also a very good ban from um from the team because Gragas will break the combo potential which of course yan yung talagang aim natin during team fights is to create a very good combo to make sure na mananalo tayo sa team fight. so without the Gragas it's also gonna help the team a whole lot to set up a very good fight and next will be Galio Galio um nalilito na if my Galio kanina but Galio Although the nerf you Galio, so Galio still has good potential. The semi global global ultimate and the fact that he can knock up. So he's a good initiator for the team. But Galio is still um, very useful. Kite and nerf shot. Alright, so we're just waiting for the last ban. So if Ziggs Gragas Galio. Uh, so one more. Sino hindi pa kapag ban. Alistar. Alistar. Alright, so. Alistar, very interesting. Alistar, may Alistar kanina, di ba? I'm not sure. Nakalimutan game ko na. Game 2 wala. But, game 2 wala, okay. Sa, sa ano ko pala, yung nakast ko. So, Alistar, hindi siya tanky at level 1, but Alistar with the ultimate, yung unbreakable will niya, he's able to absorb so much damage for the team. And his headbutt pulverized will allow um, the opponents to be knocked up into the air. So, that's a very good initiation um, support as well as a tanky support for the team. So, this opens a Kali Leeson into the rift. So, let's see. If we'll be able to see these two champs, because they're the ones who always restart. The bad. The si, restart. The si Paimon, and then we can start the fight. There it is, and we should be headed to uh, start. Okay. Yeah. And so, please, uh, break down that and picks. On the blue side, it's going to be Alpha Esports. Let me just update the score really quick. Score on the red side should be 1 also. Very interesting. It's, they're going to go for a Kaisa pick. Pala ako. A very good pick. An interesting one. They're going to go for the Kaisa first pick for the blue team. For their uh, late game insurance ADR. That's going to be so interesting because Kaisa, we saw how monstrous she was uh, second game. Ngayon. She was able to dominate um, the team fights right. and dealt so much damage for the team. Making sure that they were able to secure the victory para sa team. And now we're seeing Brom Akali because Brom was that man. The tankiest support you can think of would be Brom. Um, tanking even at level 1, you can feel the tankiness of Brom, so that will be very useful um, when it comes to team fights and helping their ADR out to early laning phase. And next will be Akali, a very, very strong assassin, one um, S tier champ talaga to, um, with so much mobility and damage potential during the team fight. So, this will be a very good pick from the um, red. So, going to the blue team, we're gonna be seeing Aurelian Song and Leeson. So, tama talaga. Um, these commonly banned champs will be picked instead and played into the rift. Listen with so much gang potential. So, um, as a jungler, she, um, most probably very mobile as well. So, napaka successful ng Listen na yan if he will be able to dominate sa early game natin. So, he will be very useful into the rift. Next will be Aurelian Sol. Although na nerf Aurelian Sol, we can see a stun potential for Aurelian Sol and Listen coming in and ganking. Um, ganking the lane and then Camille can use the hextech to also trap the opponent so this will be very useful and Lux can always uproot the opponent as well so Camille also with good push potential will be highly useful in this match Wukong with the Cyclone is also very interesting Wukong comes in with the Cyclone and then Brom can use his ultimate as well to knock off the opponent and Oriana can shockwave and Akali can do the cleanup as well can do the pre-hits from the back so both teams have very interesting lineups let's see how they're gonna use this to their advantage and how they're gonna use their strategies to win game number three this is the match point and this should be a match we all should really watch we've seen it's a game number two napakano 
napakaganda ng match na ito. It's a very close match for both teams. So this is something we should all be rooting for. All right, definitely match point. Sabi ni Miss Rattlesnake, whoever wins this will go to the semifinals po ng Rising Star. And you want to watch the Rising, uh, the Rising Star semifinals. It's going to happen tomorrow. Lahat po ng teams maglalaro ka po already won one series the uh, one series of this tournament so subok na yung mga maglalaro bukas so it's gonna be action packed so please follow the pages Yorick PH and Miss Rattlesnake right here para po salaban natin bukas please introduce the champions while I prepare something here really quick Miss Rattlesnake Alright, so on the blue side, we have Alpha Esports Korean Dude on the Camille Baron leader. We have Sid on the Sport Box. We have Big Bird on the Rally Salt mid lane. We have April um, Jin C2 on the Jungle East. And then lastly, we have um, Arkless on the Kaisa ADR. And on the red side, we have Eldora on the ADR Ezreal. Kuri Miao on the Akali. Baron Laner, Bell, Bellhor on the Oriana mid, Jim Green on the Wukong um, jungler right here, and we have Paimon as the Brom support. All right, here we go. Uh, again, match point. Very, very interesting match we are watching right now. Who will win this is going to go to our semifinals and get a berth of the position for our finals and maybe be the champion for week number five, na tayo, diba? Yes, week number five of um, World of Valdrift Rising Stars. At the top, Kurinyao forced to take the fruit right there. May fruit pa available, the Camille right here. So they're both okay in the mid demand. Oriana with Big Bird. Uh, Big Bird should have a hard time facing up with this Oriana right here. Wala na siyang fruit dito while Oriana still has the fruit. And, she, and Big Bird still has lower HP at this point. It's gonna be set up here in the bottom. I think Lee Sin is gonna go for it. Red team doesn't know about this. It's in one ward, but Wukong is gonna be spotted right here for the Lee Sin. Wukong very low. Jin C2 is in a good position right now. Orian is gonna be forced to help right here. Wukong is gonna be taken down, and that's first blood going to the side of the red team. A uh, blue team that is gonna be C2, and they're gonna be taking the Rift Scuttler at the bottom. 1 to 0 on the board. Alpha Esports takes the early lead. Very early lead indeed. That jungler plays a very heavy role in the match. He said showing his dominant um, dominant sides early. It makes make sure he gets into a good lead to start just to make sure he put um Sinoyun Wukong a little bit behind and he will play a huge um role play later in into this match. And with two scutters going pockets that should help a whole lot as well as the farm yeah and itemization and as well as getting visions river for the team so that will be a very useful um, one for Lisa and that means he can confidently um set up gangs into the rift one to zero on the board and 500 gold lead going to yeah I got your transfer here um major my napoputo lang naman ano ma hmm lag and discord ball it's your pc slowing down Alright, anyways, yeah, lilipat lang na microphone si Mr. Rattlesnake right here. Can you speak? Hello, hello, chat, chat. Yeah, uh, very good. It's working okay. now. Alright, um, yeah, sabi daw mahina ang ano ko. Mahina daw ang uh, microphone ko, sabi ni Neil Jin. I just increased my microphone volume. I think that's gonna be okay. Shout out sa mga nanonood. Shout, uh, stutter mic ni Rattlesnake Boss Gary. Kaya nga eh, um, tinransfer ko na lang muna. Alright, anyways, you can close that out and we can watch the fight here instead, Mr. Rattlesnake. Anyways, 1 0 pa rin tayo. 3 minutes into the game. Thank you so much for letting us know. Kumay magkaka problema man sa laban natin. Ayon, but everything is so far so good. 2 for 2 uh, battle here on the bottom. Level 5 po on the lawa. So pretty even at this point. My first blood advantage lang ng gold ang blue, uh, ang blue side nito. Very, Very true, and it's, it's 20, 20 seconds until the Ocean Dragon is going to spawn. It's, it's not much priority, priority, but it's going to help the team a whole lot to later part of the game. And most especially, Blue Team has Kaisa, the late game insurance. She will surely benefit from the Dragon buff. So most probably, we're also going to be seeing a spicy fight here. Because it's super peaceful at this point on um, for both teams just doing their farm and making sure they're able to set up for this Dragon take. So we should be seeing some resets, quick resets from both teams. And right now, we're seeing Lux taking position and the warding um, as early as she can into the Rift. All right. Item check. Um, so far, it's going to be Lisa on top of the food chain. 
and the Kali as well. Uh -oh. So. I think there's going to be fight right here. Dragon's already very low. Blue side is in a good advantage right here. Ezreal sends out the ultimate, but so does the locks. It hits three champs right here. Brom sends out the ultimate. Hex's ultimate is going to be casted, but it's going to be Wukong who dies first in this fight. Ezreal is being focused on, and Ezreal is going to go down. And here we go. Blue team is going to go for more champions right here. Orianna is going to be focused on by the lead side, and he's going to be successful. Orianna goes down. They're not done yet. One more champion left on the red side, but in Neto Maabon under the third, and that's going to be four champions going down onto the Caballeros side. Alpha Esports takes a big win and they take the dragon as a reward. <laughs> what was that? We just saw a very spicy fight and blue team making sure that they secure the ocean dragon. And I think talaga, it's really with their initiation and the lead that their jungler has early into the game. They're able to secure victory into that. And there's another fight here at the bottom. Alright, it is going to be Camille who's already very low but will be able to find an escape because the help of the team that's the power of friendship right there. Up, oh, ito. Camille will take more damage. Ultimate is going to be sent right there. No kill just yet. And they're going to continue their TPs. Very good call to actually disengage. And they get to safety. 25 seconds until the Rift Herald is going to spawn. It's a perfect 5-0 to zero going to um, Alpha Esports at 5 minutes and 42 seconds into the game. And it's going to be a 3k goal lead as well going to the blue team. Alright, Tama. There it is. Bottom third taking down. Um, it's being pounded right here by the red team. Uh-oh, but Lee Sin is going to be here. He's going to focus on the Ezreal, but Braum is going to be there to protect Lee Sin. Camille will go for the Hextex ultimatum. He's going to catch the Ezreal. Ezreal's already very low. Will be shielded up. Braum sends out the ultimate, but here comes Aurelius so with the stun. Only connects to the Braum. Braum eats the ultimate right there, and that's going to be Braum going down from the Lee Sin. Camille goes for the Ezreal. Ezreal, your head is going to be cocked. Right there, Scissor kicked on the head of the Ezreal and they take the bo for, uh, the bottom turret as their reward. Here in the middle, there's gonna be a fight right here. Sends, um, Oriana sends out the ultimate onto the Kai'Sa. Kai'Sa is gonna be okay at this point. Though both red champions are gonna be able to escape. Akali is gonna go for the hunt right here, but is gonna be rooted and she will not be able to get a cleanup. Action back we're talking about right now into the third game. Pila pasok lang nila yung turrets and go pursue on the kills that they want to take some bottom lane and they were able to secure the first turret um by the blue team but red team comes to respond with the mid lane turret take it down and I think that was more impactful than the bottom turret but now the rift herald is going to be secured by the blue team Lee Sin will be able to take it and that should also serve as a big win for them having the rift herald in uh -oh. their pockets and I think there's going to be an aggression here but um Brown will be able to shield and um get to safety seven to zero into the board and there's a spicy fight here all right pala, pala. just um so just a trade just trades but this will not turn into something bigger so that is gonna be it for that fight yes Can you mute your mic Kajot? what hey sound check yeah that's mic mo. but that's okay sige, sige. turn it on okay all right so far, um, still a 5k goal lead going to Alpha Esports. This is a pretty comfortable co position they're in, but it's still anybody's fight. Mind you, you mid turret and babasag for Alpha Esports, and that should open a bigger spot than having the bottom turret down to red team. So that should be impactful at this point of the game. But right now, 25 seconds until the Infernal Dragon is going to spawn. This is a very Infernal Dragon with bonus damage giving, given to the team. So that, that will be well, something for um, the blue team to think about. And now the Rift Herald will be spawned. Check, Mike. Can you speak again? That will be the Rift Herald spawn on the bottom lane and the turret will be taken down and that will expose the inhibitor turret on the bottom lane. And that's going to be something, a spicy fight going on here. Um, Cyclone will be used by Wukong to actually escape death but Akali here will shroud and will try to take down the the Aurelian Soul and Wukong will be able to do so. Mischief to actually take down the, the Aurelian Soul but Aurelian Soul will be able to take down the Wukong as well. The bottom inhibitor turret was just slammed by the Rift Herald but that was not enough to take down the inhibitor turret right now. The Infernal Dragon is going to be started and will be um, uh -oh. taken by the blue team. There you have it. Blue team gets Infernal Dragon and 9 to 1 on our board and that's the second dragon buff going to Alpha Esports. This is a comfortable position they're in with 7k gold lead two turrets down and two dragon buffs in their pocket and now they're starting their way the third turret goes down and that will be the mid turret and we're seeing another spicy fight 
Alright, tignan natin. It's gonna be a fight right here. Oh, Ariel Son with a big stun right here. But it's gonna connect onto the backside. No follow-up right there. Because that's too deep. And Red Team is gonna be okay. But they, their mid turret is already down. At the top, Akali is alone right here. He uh, Blue Team is gonna be collapsing onto that Akali. But the gang is here also. Wukong goes in. Lock sends out the ultimate right here. Ariel Son sends the ultimate also. Um, Kaisa goes onto the back lines and deals so much damage. Wukong is gonna be popped. That's two champions on the red side. So is the Brom. And there it is. Oriana is gonna go down. Next, guys, already very low, will be taken and traded right here. That's a three for one at this point. Ezreal is already very low, but Kakali, what are you doing, my friend? There are three champions right there. You, no matter how strong you are, you're not gonna survive three champions. And Akali goes down four champions for one. That's a big win for Alpha Esports, and now they have an opening for the Baron, but I don't think they're gonna be going for it. 13 to 2, 10 minutes in. A very big win indeed. They confidently dominate the map control they have on the top jungle. And oh, in the mid, Camille will be taken down by the Ezreal. But that gives him an, an opening to take down the top turret um, of the red team. So that's still um, something for this match. 13-3 to on the board. And that's a 10k goal lead now. Um, already secured by blue hey. team. And there's another fight here. Alright, already saw it. Being ganged up on somehow survives right there with the ultimate of the locks zoning everyone out. It's gonna be Lee Sin right here alone right here. But this man is very strong. Two champions make that three champions he's facing right now. Lee Sin, you might have over played right there but no that's a 3 for 1 kill on the Wukong Lee Sin putting on a clinic right now and it's Taiza's turn and Kaiza is gonna go for the chase with the help of the Camille and they are gonna be taking the uh the Camille uh, the uh Kali right there uh, the Oriana right there has to ultimate them on the Ezreal. Ezreal has no way out and eats the Ekathian reign of the Kaisa. And he is down at the back lines. Camille being chased by the Kali. This is going to be very big for the Kali. Takes one. But he, will he be able to take more? No, she, he will not. C2 will go for the chase. But will flash away four champions on the blue side. And only two champions left on the red side. Another win by Alpha Esports coming on top of that fight. A very good call not to go aggressively and not overcommit into um, that matchup. And right now, we're seeing some pressure push going in the mid lane with the Baron um, Nashor alive. They're playing strategically, making sure that hindi na basta basta kukunin yung Baron without being confident enough to do so. Because andun yung cavalry na red team and they can easily just go in and steal the Baron buff. And that will put the lead um, a little bit behind if they do so, steal the Baron buff. So they opt not to. And now we're still at 17 to 4 on the board and it's an 11k goal lead for um alpha esports this is a very comfortable position they're in right now with that 11k at just 12 minutes into the game with four turrets down and so far they're really confident into this game all right 17 to 4 in an at and red buff take right here by the red team this is spotted by the blue team they will attempt for take but they will not be successful Sid is still in the area, roots the Brom, but that's a tank right there, so they will not go for it. They will pressure the mid instead. Tingnan natin ang undevelopment dito. Remember, uh, the, uh, the dragon is going to be spawning in the next 10 seconds. Baron's still alive, but no takes on that just yet. Very true, and let's go ahead and see right now. Five seconds, a cloud dragon is going to spawn. Item check on top of our food chain will be leasing working on his um, fourth item and that's the cloud dragon melting in front of us kakalan lang niya sa dragon pit niya but that's the cloud dragon um disintegrated just like that cloud dragon the third oh. dragon goes to them and there's gonna be a fight all right camille goes in dangerously gets his hp down because of the red team um defense right there that's very good by caballero pushing away the blue side and magre reset lang sila dito. Very good decision right here by Sid uh, and the and the gang. And I think that's gonna be it for the meantime. Yes, and still so far, it's still going to be leasing on top of the food chain. Look at that. Lamang siya ng 5k gold compared to the opponent's jungle who's just working out his third core item while Lisa is on his fourth. Dalawa lang yung core item ng Wukong. So that will, um, that's a lot of difference to actually talk about. That's two um, items to actually work on. So that will really, really further the lead into this game because of course, napakabigat ng role for both junglers ng both teams. And Wukong not being able to farm so much and dominate into this game will punish the rest of the team as well. 17 to 4 on the board and already a 13, make it a 13k gold lead right, for um, the blue team. 
I think there's gonna be fight right here. Laki ng gold lead ng <laughs> pagsabi mo. Laki ng gold lead. Pero there is Baron is gonna be baited right here. Red team, are they gonna be able to respond? Good poke on to Paimon right here by Alpha Esports Sid. Aurelius Sol sends out the ultimate history champions with the locks combo. Wombo combo is gonna be on top. Layered perfectly. Brown sends out the ultimate, but Oriana is already disassembled. Here it is. There's gonna be a chase right here. Hexix ultimate. Wukong goes down. And that Ezreal will be no more in this fight. Only Akali left. And this is the opening red team. It's gonna be blue team is gonna be looking forward to take the Baron. Akali will survive for a bit. But don't kadumaan. Kaisa. Kaisa goes down after that. And that is a big loss for them. But in the end, it's still gonna be a four for one exchange right here. Big win still by Alpha Esports. Kaisa goes down onto the blue side. Very big win indeed. I think that was a misclick by Kaisa or he forgot the fact that my turret on. So kaya doon siya, doon siya tumakbo. But anyway, this is still gonna be a free gift. A Baron buff going in the pockets of blue team. And this um, could spell trouble for the red team right now with the Baron buff in the pockets of blue team. I think this could be it. Let's see what strategy they're gonna use to march their way towards the base of Tama. the blue team. Uh, anyways, nakapagganti naman sila sa turret na kum pumatay kay Kaisa. Very right, this turret right here killed Kaisa. They were able to take down a turret with the help of the creep wave. So revenge killed by creeps. Thank you so much, sabi ni Kaisa. <laughs> totoo, totoo. And right, right? now, oh, grabe. Feel. Right. Kapal na mukha. <laughs> Kapal yep, gets nothing, man. This Jin Sito is getting greedy in this game. But he's gonna be rewarded with a blue buff right there. Good attempt, my friend. Pinapasok niya parang wala. <laughs> Grabe nun. 21 to 5 on the board. Super lamang talaga for the blue team. And that's um a 16k gold lead, if I'm not mistaken going in their pockets that's a lot and now with the baron buff in effect we're seeing two champs uh -oh. pressuring the push and here a bush, bush set up by the red team let's see if they're gonna be successful but instead they go and opt to go back and there's a fight all right here it is wukong is gonna be starting the fight off brom sends out ultimate right there or else will survive with the stats right here lex sends out the ultimate and it's gonna be hit two champions and brom is gonna go down two champions on the red side it's already down wukong and that brom and there it is blue side is still very healthy except for the lee sin but lee sin has the ga so he's A-OK -okay, and they're going to be focusing on the top turret at this time. Se uh, oh, the Hexix Ultimatum is going to be casted. That Oriana Ultimate is not going to hit right there. So that's going to whiff. Akali is going to be next in line and they're going down one by one. Only Ezreal left right here to defend the line and I don't think that's going to be enough. They're going to be focusing on the Ezreal right here and Ezreal is going to be kicked in the face and that is go down and that's an ace and this is the game. Alpha Esports have done it and they're going to go to our semifinal. Final Swallow Snake, what was that game? Good finish. Very good finish indeed. Oh, that was so merciless. Um Alpha Esports punishing Cam Camillera rises. Look at that. You chart just flies all the way up, giving you a one-sided story of how Alpha Esports was able to secure their victory. Grabe listen, carry the team. 808 you score nya grabe. That was an awesome performance from the Lisa in that match. All right, congratulations once again to our friends over Alpha Esports Pro AE Pro. They are we are going to be seeing them tomorrow for our semifinals round. Well played, Caballero. Thank you so much for sharing your scrim with us. We enjoyed it. They came up short, but man, we are proud of you for taking this to game number three. See you in the future events, Caballero. Um, Arises, right? Thanks, man. Thanks, man. We're gonna be going for a restream, okay? And namin tong stream nito as we prepare for the next game. I'm just gonna be restarting my PC really quick kasi dami nang naglolo ko. Kanina pa kasi to naka-on. So a little reset and then we're gonna go live again here in my page, Lorik PH, and you can also watch this on Rattlesnake's page, Rattlesnake uh, Gaming 25. We will be back. Research on JJ. Hmm? Research on. Do you see?
Mabuo ang PCA ko. Hindi ba kayo walang pre-start? 